Here we go then. Three races remaining for the 23-24 season. Is this the man you would pick for the win on the sprint uh, title? Is he going to win today? Well, you wouldn't have thought so because his speed is not, has not in the last five years been uh, his outstanding feature. Tell you both, first shot going down, five out of five. And that is a big step towards the crystal globe. That shows he works this badly. Giacomel, if he hits 10 out of 10, he's certainly got the potential to win. He's an exciting prospect for the Italians, and the Italians have had a good week so far. Benny Dole, that those two misses here, and I think they take him out of the equation for the Street Crystal Globe. Another miss, and Lightride will know. There it is. There it is. So Doll and Lightride have both missed, which means uh, Tony Bolt, if he hits four out of five in the stand, he is uh, pretty much home and dry. Another miss. I think that we can almost start polishing it and getting Tony Bo's name on that trophy. Johannes has just arrived at the firing point and he's, what is it, 11 seconds quicker, 12 seconds actually quicker than anyone else. The bogey target, down it goes this time. Will he stay focused? He Good. does. Great shooting from Johannes Tingis. So, for the title, five out of five, and we are looking at the sprint champion for 2024. He will become the oldest man to achieve that. He can take his time. There's the first miss. This has to go down. The crowd noise will have... It'd be difficult to block that out. Everyone knows how much this matters. There it goes. It's not recovers bad. Well. He recovers well. Giacomel, second fastest in for the second shoot. Tony Bo out there. He is skiing so, so rapid. Five out of five to make it two wins in a row. Oh. That is the way to do it, and that is the way to get the first hand around the overall trophy for the season. He's going to be well ahead of his brother, and that is absolutely key because it will give him a good start in the pursuit tomorrow. Have a look at the time. Samuelson on 17.26, and Johannes Ting is both 46 seconds inside. He is back to his best, and if you're going to win the overall trophy, in, you might as well do it in style. And if you're going to win the sprint trophy, you might as well do it wearing the red bib, which is his, exactly what Tony Bo has done. 24-57 Perot. It's going to be beaten by a decent margin, but it just doesn't matter because he's ahead of Ligride and he's well ahead of Benny Dole, the only two men who could have caught him in the sprint title. He has done it at the age of 35. Is Giacomel actually a really good final loop in? Ligride four misses, 2.05. His dream of the globe has gone yet again. Now, what is the margin gonna be it's absolutely enormous Giacomel on 24 39 and Johannes Tingisbo comes in in 23 37 